Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Shantae Half Genie Hero Ultimate Edition. We're doing the Pirate uh, Risky Boots mode, tried yet. which see, feels a lot like DLC, going through the levels, but the levels have been redesigned for Risky Boots abilities. We're going to do Cape Crustacean here, which theoretically this should be somewhat easy and somewhat hard because like... In the previous section, in the previous world, there's a big platforming section and then there's a boss fight. Next, we go into this section and we start with another platforming section. And then there's another platforming section and then there's a boss fight. It's really in this middle point that you, you get overwhelmed with platforming sections and where the game kind of tips its hat on the fact that there are no like branching paths no dungeons in this game where and it's just all platforming which i don't know if that's what i want in a shante game frankly i i'm i was hoping for more 50 percent platforming fist 50 percent dungeon dungeoning but we don't get that ugh i've had enough of that noisy grease pit report a burglary so there's another shark in the kitty pool is there how fortuitous for me. So apparently she can hear or read the thoughts of the Tinker Bats. Um, but they don't seem to actually speak out loud. But I guess if they're bats, bats they might be talking in ultrasonic like screeches. Which then might mean Risky Boots is part back, bat. Which... Yeah, that, that might be an interesting backstory for us. Stealing flying cowpits to make flying suit pants? How pedestrian. Such ill-conceived cockamamie could only be the work of a certain man-pig. If the ammo baron ships are still circling up there, you can bet they'll, they're hiding in the cloud cover like cowards. Hmm. They're sure to have the component part I need. Yes, I think I'll arrange a playdate with the childish ammo baron. Seems like everybody just gets interconnected with everybody else in the in these uh, Shantae games. Ah, I never looked in the background here. It's kind of a cute animation here. You see the crowd with these flat 2D uh, characters and just a lot of repetition there. And yeah, I, that's cool and all. I don't recognize any of the people as being specific like nods or hints. In the back of the crowd. Um, so this time we are flying on a magic carpet ride, and but we're not racing. And I guess we're just gonna probably do the same thing as before, which is jumping. Oh, and we just take damage when we hit something but the difference here is I guess these jumps are now going to require using the hat ability more and because they're going to require using the hat ability some more we are going to have to be a little bit more careful also we are going to have the situation that occurs here where uh, where you could definitely take a lot of damage well um and you don't have a lot of opportunity to increase your health hmm. it sure would make a lot more sense for risky boots to try and knock all of these people off the the carpet hmm and then I guess we're going to fight Twitch and Vinegar, which I had forgotten we even did fight Twitch and Vinegar in the first game because we ran through that level one or two times just to see if there was any collectibles and there weren't in this, this first part. Ah, who goes there? Twitch and Vinegar. Like, completely forgotten, pretty much, that they were even in the stories. No one was allowed past this point. Amo Baron's orders. Is she here... Uh, is she on her way to a party? I know, right? Who dresses like that? Now, 
that that's really the pot calling the kettle black in a lot of ways because they're all dressed very weirdly although i guess uh twitch and vinegar like the ammo baron's blue outfits so it's you too so it's you too why'd you settle yourselves with the ammo baron I'd, i'll never know that boastful sack of congealed pork belly is no match for a real captain that that would make a little bit more sense of twitch and vinegar worked for uh risky boots i'm risky boots ruler over land sea and air um Although, I also wouldn't be surprised if Risky Boots is so jealous that she only allows the the Tinker Bats to be her minions because they don't look, they're not pretty females. And no threat to her, her self-perceived beauty. Move aside or, or prepare to be boarded. I'm bored, boreded with this whole conversation. Yeah, let's blast her. So Twitch and Vinegar, Ammonian air Ammonian Airheads? Okay. So, I theoretically, the move here would be to just unload as much as possible. And we probably should eat something. Hmm. Like, do we have an ability that would would be better here against these bosses? And if I completely run out of uh, if I completely run out of bullets, then will I be able to refill all my bullets by the time we have to fight Ammo Baron himself? Oh, I didn't even know they merged together and did something like that. Yeah, and apparently you can just hit them in the air. Interesting. It, it kind of goes to show the problem with the main game and the fact that there was entire attack mechanics that we've seen with at least a couple of the enemies that you just never saw. Uh, because you would have pretty much already unlocked all of uh, defeated the boss before they had done anything like that. And if I am just going to shoot the seekers, then I just need to make sure I don't get hit while that happens. Even though me taking damage seems to not really happen that often hmm. 18 more 10 more seeker shots hmm. 4 more seeker shots alright so now it's just going to be all about hitting it. Hmm. Like, let's eat some food. We had filled up our inventory as far as food fairly well. But we did eat three or four different things there. That takes care of those two. At a certain level, if you wanted just to have an abbreviated DLC section, you would say, well, that's the end of this whole section for Risky Boots story. She doesn't fly up to this area. She doesn't, she doesn't do any more of the actions. Good news is we do now know we can jump down here and get checkpoints whenever we need them. We don't have the ground pound ability though. Still. And we'll have to be careful to make sure that the distances are still the same and that they're not 
pulling a fast one on us and moving the distances. But yeah, there's a decent amount of of jars, so with the jars like they are, it would, I probably will be able to just refill everything. Hmm. Hmm. You really could just hit those over and over again. Hmm. Keeping my health fairly high. And we are working our way towards filling up the 75%. Alright. So let's think about how we get up there. The laser never goes away, so best case scenario, I would need to be able to hit that and go up really, really high. And I don't think I have the ability to do that right now. Hmm. hmm. Like, there's no way to get up even to this block without getting hit by the laser. Because I could certainly go over here, get to that point. But you can't really do anything after that point. It'll just push you along. You can't break it. So I'd have to figure out some way to get on the roof on the other side of that. And I don't think there is a way to get onto the roof on the other side of that. Like here and then there. Nope. Everything I'm, I'm seeing tells me that won't work with our current abilities. Getting a lot of full health now. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of people just standing in one place, flinging things at me. Okay. Let's see, we're at maximum spread shot ability. Okay. Ah. Well, this was a very different way to solve this puzzle than what we had before. Before, it, I had to turn into a mouse to do that, and it, it was... I'm not even sure if that was the right way. All right, so what do we want to upgrade? I think ammo strap. Like we now have the maximum amount of ammo, so if these, if the maximum amount of bullets don't, don't help, then the maximum amount of bullets don't help. Although, I probably, in in retrospect, should have just upgraded this ability because if that was upgraded then I could have reached at least one more place that I'd just seen to get potentially either a light crystal or dark magic both of which seem seem like you have to get all of that hmm. but if we upgrade the grapple hook once then there is an implication there that we will eventually run into a scenario where 
we need to upgrade it two or three times. Hmm. Yeah. I think the implication here is you can't make this with what we've got. I think we can take that as fairly obvious. Hmm. So the maximum number of shots is now 99. So we know that to be true. Good. That's helpful. That that does just tell us now we're going to fairly quickly run into scenarios where there's just no reason, no real reason to to try any further to collect anything more. this get some juicy melons fill up our hmm so ah there's chains I did not see all the chains So this is a different way that we got through this room compared to the way Shantae did it, differently out completely. Hmm. Fill up our health, fill up our food reserves, everything. Fill up everything basically can be filled up here. somewhat right and then that lets us get up here so let's not repeat the same mistake let's upgrade the grapple hook So now it is further. So before we were having to jump, now a small jump even will let us through. But I don't know if there's much of a change there. I guess the grappling hook might speed up some safe safe maneuvers here. Just easier to do this this way. That way we can get all the way to the edge. Then get down here. Now that we know how to press downward to to jump down panels um questionable though whether whether we can make it all the way up without the waterfall ability there we go it seems like maybe they changed a lot of it there we go. Down. Hmm. So now comes a bigger decision. What do we want to upgrade now? Do we want to potentially have hover more? 
which might help us a little bit. Or do we want to increase our pistol damage so it's not so pathetically low? Hmm. I think we go pistol damage. And we'll ignore speeds and we'll ignore upgrading the Tinker Bat. And I think we may very easily run into a scenario where we are going to potentially even sit on some upgrades um, until we can get a better idea about the parts that we're missing. Because it, it seems to me like there's some stuff here. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Hmm. Right, that, that, and that, and that, and then that. Hmm. All right. Next question. Do we want to just potentially upgrade our damage? Hmm. I think we go Simtar, then pistol damage, then Simtar, then pistol damage, all the way up to three. And then we start thinking about some other options later. Alright. It's... The grappling hook makes it very easy to recover from a, a mistake. Like, I really appreciate that idea. I kind of wish Shantae had the grappling hook. down in here and that's another genie crystal I think it's very possible that all the genie crystals are located where the genie realm would have portals would have been for Shantae which that would make some sense certainly Too slow. Yeah, two hits. Hmm. Then over here. Hmm. Yeah, we are just burning through this these upgrades which is nice I guess the truth there is that the dark magic is replacing several other collectibles that would have been in the the game It seems like it's even the, the the projectile speed is even higher. Um, there we go. I think we did everything in this room. That was a fairly complicated room. And then there's a collectible here. Just in the middle middle of the room. Which is interesting. That gives us full health. We aren't quite at full heat seeking 
missiles to fight ammo bearing, but we're in a decent position. Like, we're, we're not doing terrible there. But we don't have, like, any magic or anything, so it, it could easily turn into a scenario where we d take a lot of damage and die multiple times. Blast it all, I was still recovering in the infirmary. Whoa, what have we got here? I don't know a... I didn't, I don't know what I'm looking at. I sure as shoot like it. Hmm. She, she calls him a pig, but I mean, does he, he's like really muscular. So like calling him fat, even in a world where all the females seem to be belly dancers showing off incredibly tiny waist, it seems inaccurate. If the mayor is much fatter, um, uh, but maybe she's calling him a hog because of a different reason. Like, maybe he is part hog, but he looks more like a cyclops to me with one eye. Give me the parts I need and spare yourself a beating. Near, kabloom, rat -tat, tat You want to go around? Yeah, why not? Show me what you've got, princess. Oh, please. Oh, please. Troops, fall in. These magical carpet-infused prototypes are pretty in unstable, but they're more than I, I need to squash a bug like you. Hmm. <clears throat> Deploy to Unit Zero uniforms. Sure, they failed safety inspection. Make do. No blubbering. Hmm. So, ammo bearing, wallowing, hog man. Alright, so. Oh. Hmm. So, I imagine what we want to do is clear enough of an area so we can do that. And then just do a massive amount of damage. And just be fairly careful about the angle at which people fly in. And there really is no reason to go crazy with this. I uh, almost died there, so... I mean, theoretically, this should fill your whole health, no matter how low your health is. Hmm. Hmm. And I guess you have to just clear the field enough that you can start to get some real shots here. Hmm. And I'm taking damage while this is happening, but I'll come on to sacrifice that. I just gotta be more careful though to make sure. that I know what I'm doing and not taking too much damage too fast. Yeah. This would have been a perfect place to use obliterate, but we don't have it, so. Hmm. Spread shots, spread shots, spread shots get in the very corner to just start shooting more more people with the spread shot which I guess maybe I could hit more people if I jumped up get enough away so I can do this and just smash it as much as possible and see that didn't use any of my heat seeking missiles at all and it didn't use all of my spread shot missiles uh, shots so we, we are done with worrying about having bullets probably for the rest of the game amateur 
take this trash away. I think there's a point here for, in a fairness for Lou drawing, uh, there's a point here where these characters should probably lose their their tight t-shirts, their white uh, t-shirts or whatever t-shirts they're wearing. At least Ammo Baron himself should have. Um, he should have ripped his shirt off to show his sparkling muscles, considering how that would be the closest equivalent to the fact that so many female characters here are wearing uh, tube top bra style b bras, really. Lots of cleavage showing. Uh, no straps on their shoulders, even. Um, but yeah, that doesn't happen. So, and you kind of, you can kind of tell that the artists at Way Forward need to hire either some somebody who can appreciate the male physique. Uh, like I, I could say either a gay person or a female artist uh, that's straight, but in the end you don't even have to go into that much detail they just need somebody who's willing to draw some beefcake as much as they draw the cheesecake uh, to use colloquialisms next time i won't be so easy on you and so we get another part of the tinker brain hmm. it's weird that they make a reference basically to Me mother brain and metroid in this game and then they fail to make the bigger, more important reference of having actual, like, dungeons and areas. Excellent. With this component in hand, I'll be able to make my dyna dynamo even s stronger. The first Metroid game, it's like, there are, there are discrete areas. Maybe you wouldn't directly call them dungeons because everything's connected. But there definitely are discrete areas and places where you have to backtrack and places where you need new abilities to collect things um things that aren't just areas that aren't just side side areas or hidden areas off of the straight linear path um where this game is almost 100 percent linear path with some side side areas either underwater or in the air or maybe in a secret room in a few cases um Let's see. We should get a new ability now. Oh. Hmm. Is this for me? Bomb shot. Fire bomb shots from your pistol to destroy certain objects. Can be upgraded for even a bigger kablooey. Good work, man. I'll put the bomb shot to the test right away. Keep those contraptions coming. Hmm. Alright. Where haven't I tried yet? Make way! So... There would be a small argument to going back to Main Street and trying to get collectibles or going back to any of the previous areas and trying to get collectibles. But I think the bigger move here is to probably just defeat this part and get one more ability unlocked. Then go to all the levels and collect all of the crystals because I bet you cannot beat this part of the game at all without all 15 of the genie crystals <clears throat> and it's really only taking us about 30 minutes to go through a level um is that's probably because we've done this before so in a weird way there might be a decent argument to say playing all of the dlc different levels and then going back and playing the main game again and and you would have at that point potentially played the same levels five or six times and become much faster and more of an expert at it one of the component parts must be somewhere nearby notice that they have to say one of the component parts not the last or anything because you could have gone to levels out of order you men fan out and find it what's this do i sense the hesitation I'll show you cowards something so scary that even the worms feasting on your lifeless carcass will have nightmares. Now move it. So the Tinker Bats are afraid uh, to run around the haunted castle. We have a different experience here. It's not showing us all the area. 
and I don't think that was the way this played in Shantae. Like, if it was like this originally, we quickly got like the Sonic ability from the bat and that unlocked. Uh, unlock something more and so now we do have super bombs as an option hmm. and no easy way do all this we're gonna be dealing with the ghost some more and the mummy characters are back Yeah, six more genie crystals to be collected. Hmm. And here's that bat-like character that we saw them do artwork with. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if this is the right direction or the wrong direction. I think this is the right direction. So. Interesting. Um, we went back through a door and it didn't take us to the place we were at before. Interest. That's, that changes some things up. No, we didn't do that, did we? Um, the idea of a Batgirl, for lack of a better term, being able to turn invisible and then shooting a chain attack is different. Vampire girl, I suppose. I would have kind of preferred, though, if you were going to have a vampire girl, for at least one of them to, to be more of a named character. You can pull off some major tricks there. Let's go up here. And start investigating more. Is it really worth fighting them? Um, I don't think it really is. Unless they're going to drop more than health. That they take too much damage for it to be worth your while. Hmm. Well, almost missed the opportunity to collect that. I imagine, since we have a dark energy, we have two of them right now. Um, let's upgrade our Simtar to do more damage. Let's upgrade our Pistol damage to do more damage. And next upgrade we get will... Let's see. Upgrade the Bomb Shot, I guess. Since that would be a bigger explosion, which does imply to me then it might do more damage if nothing else hmm. there we go now that we have our simtar at the highest amount it's doing like eight damage which even at that we're still taking a decent amount of and that that took a lot of effort there to to get get that character killed All right hmm. Hmm. All right so 
fire. It's just a big swinging ball. And we have potentially a hundred shots of the bigger bullets now. That's nice too. Hmm. One more dark energy. Hmm. So, yeah, upgrade the bombs. There might be an argument here now to upgrade your pistol speed because that might increase um that might increase the default well, no that probably only increases the default firing of your default gun it probably doesn't increase the um the firing speed of these two otherwise you'd get fire speed upgrade and fire speed upgrades hmm so we probably want to just keep on upgrading that and then we also probably want to toggle between pirate hat i think pirate hat probably would prove to be still fairly useful all right And I guess one has to assume that we are using it's nothing here. Yeah, I assume we can use the bombs under the water, is what I meant to say there. Hmm. Let's see. Man, we're just getting upgrades like crazy. Honestly, the only way I, I feel like this experience could have been slowed down is if you literally just have never played the game before. If you're familiar with the layout of the levels, you're probably going to then be perfectly fine. Oh, so this sends you back and the one down below sends you to a different location. So it kind of makes a circle. Hmm. Right. One. I'll just keep on upgrading the bomb shot. which might make the final battles super easy. I guess the question here, would there have been a bad experience if you had the little goo girls attacking her in this section instead? I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think we can reach that. Maybe if I upgrade the grappling hook some more, we can reach that at some point fairly quickly. And we're almost back up to a maximum maximum amount of of bull bullets. Yeah, so I think I got everything I can get in this level, but we're dangerously approaching another platforming section, aren't we? Alright, so 
it probably was a smart move to to increase our hat as much as possible. If we don't get something that lets us fly, we're gonna have a section that I'm not gonna be happy with. Because I definitely don't wanna have to hassle through this whole area multiple times. Can we slide under this character? No. Can we get past this character? I kind of wish we had a shop. Oh, wait. Hi. So. I think the trick here is to probably land on this, then land on that, and then get over here. Hmm. Hmm. These are kind of great enemies for the bird to drop, because they don't do a massive amount of damage and they don't really confuse the issue while you're fighting other things. Hmm. Hmm. And the one character that drops a corn dog is the one that drops it on the edge. Okay. I don't think you probably need to time yourself too crazily. I think you can pretty much just do that. And then... <laughs> well, don't do that, but... You can shoot yourself here. Shoot, 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 shoot. Go there, hit that. Hmm. Thanks. One, two. Will this fall right where you need it to? Yes, it will. Oops, jumped right into the spikes. Let's go ahead and eat a melon because we have the maximum amount of melons. I could see you messing up fairly badly here. Uh, by... Just confusing yourself. Okay. Okay. Five more genie crystals to collect. This is kind of a great place to see how far you can hover. One, two, three. Seems like you can get a decent distance. Hmm. Let's see what happens if we do that.
Come on. Yeah, the big explosions still seem to to not really kill these bigger monsters they can block. I think there's a decent argument to be made that they shouldn't be allowed to block at all. Hmm. Do that, do that, do that. Hit that one. Hit that. There we go. Then we gotta fire that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and that, and no hovering actually needed for any of that. In case you just didn't have the hat. I guess that is the case, isn't it? Though, is that really, the truth is, you won't ever... They, they would have had to make each of these levels designed specifically so that you could access it through any order. So because you needed that any order, you can't guarantee that any jump would actually require you having the hat. And I can't make it all the way over there. Well, I don't think we have an upgrade, so... You there, ghost in the rain, Poncho. I'm here to claim the component part from my machine. Obey my companions and spare yourself a world of pain. Knee, hee hee. The nefarious pirate risky boots. A creature possessed by dark magic. I have no intention of helping you. No, I have hungered endlessly for a chance to pit my evil against yours. So I guess maybe that's why risky boots' skin is purple, bluish, is, is she's possessed by dark magic. It would be funny for them to potentially show a story in which she plays as the good good girl, good guy of the story before she's possessed. Like a prequel. Uh, but they've already kind of done that in the previous Ashante game. Uh, in the sense that you played Ashante pretending to be a pirate um, helping Risky Boots. Now here, in this theater of pain, we shall finally... And me, Squid Baron. Fool, oh, you're early. We're never going to get this right if you can't e follow even the simplest of instructions. Uh, um, real adventures can't be found in books. You two are a waste of my time. Squid Baron, stay in school. Let's see. So we'll just avoid taking damage as much as possible. And then when we can, try to do the ultimate bomb shots, which are doing massive amounts of damage. Yeah, you can just kind of rush through this whole thing I wouldn't be surprised if there were some attacks we just skipped through completely because of that. And notice they have the character walk to a specific spot. Dual Barons, Evil Times 2. Um. Um, I don't know if this is the best use of the bombs. Honestly. Yeah, because they, they leave a fiery section that honestly doesn't seem like it actually is going to work too well against the bad floating creepy guy, but it will work fairly well against Squid Baron, so we can just do a lot of damage to him. Let's look at our health and notice that we're about out so play the corn dog hmm. 
Um, let's, let's refill our health again, um, and let's start using our Simtar to do some more damage. Hmm. Hmm. And we'll start just using our heat seeking missiles to do three damage while we're nice and safe away from there hmm. Hmm. I think I'll take one more hit and then we'll use a corn dog hmm. this is just taking forever so even the bomb shot really I don't think does anywhere as much damage as the scimitar does because you can just hit it and hit it and keep on hitting it and we'll go ahead and use that and we'll use that. And either we're in a situation where we need to be able to do enough damage to both people or we really have not done anywhere as much damage as we thought we did. I guess we just hadn't anywhere done as much thought as much damage as we thought we did. We'll wait till we get hit one more time and then we'll Go ahead and use this, and use the, use this. Hmm. And this is kind of a perfect point to be using Seeker. And it's still not really working greatly because I'm still getting hit. Because you stop and pause when you fire. Which then lets the enemy hit you. Hmm. I've got nine more Seeker missiles. Five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Do we? I think we just gotta get up in the air and hit him. Hmm. Yeah, I really would have a hard time believing that an average player would have a great experience trying to take on a boss like this without any of their upgrade the health upgraded perhaps they are scaled so that they are given more damage depending on the order you fight the bosses so had i for instance fought the fir very first boss last maybe then it would have higher high amounts of hits it takes wow that that went terrible but on the other hand, that also probably helped me quite a bit because it does let me potentially not waste a bunch of stuff. Hmm. See, this really feels like something that like I can just try and dodge. See, because we don't have a downward attack, and you wouldn't have had a downward attack here. So, I don't know how we're supposed to really take on this guy when he's in some of these modes. Hmm. But mostly, it seems like you just fire the Simtar at him. 
Like that was considerably fewer bombs. That was considerably fewer health. Um, and considerably less time. And so now we're to the second part of this. Hmm. We'll just fire the seeker missiles while while they're deciding to do this. And while they're doing that, I will we'll decide to Trying my very best to avoid taking damage and take on as many hits as possible, as few hits as possible. Hmm. There we go, we need some fill. We'll just need to keep an eye on our health. Hmm. We can probably eat one of these. Go ahead and use the heat seeker missiles while we're waiting for it to cycle out. And that may just lock this guy into a cycle, so we need to now be careful. Because hmm. he may have nothing he can do. Well, you know what, we could probably try and just Seeker Missile this guy and just avoid damage. Hmm. And what I imagine I should do it's probably when he fires, lay, stop pressing the B button for a second, pick his direction, and then move. That way he won't hit me. Um, so as that green, yellowish gas aims towards the ground, stop shooting for half a second and walk. And that seems to work because we are taking considerable less damage now. Now we have to try and use the spread shot to our advantage. So let's take, this is gonna take forever, but what else can we really do? Because he's not gonna cycle to anything on the ground, it seems. I mean, we could try and hit him, but every time we try and hit him, I think we end up taking a damage that I'd prefer not to take. Then he does seem to get really close. I almost died there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use some of the bigger bombs because they do seem to take enough, do enough damage and they seem to be doing maybe two or three damages worth nine and we won't run out of all of the bombs doing this hopefully it seems almost like its ability is echoing my own movements which so perfectly that I can't actually seemingly get away from it not bad that that was a much better way to solve this ballast battle instead of exhausting nearly all of our food and all of our bombs you're a disgrace good go and think about your life you've given me much to consider the component part is yours I'm hiding off stage Arg, I'm gonna boil that squid in his own ink
So another achievement for beating that level. And I assume this is going to give us one more maneuverability, which would be the cannon uh, ability. And then I assume that there's just not going to be a final level uh, like in the first game. Doing that final factory level as Rescue Boots would be really weird. And it would be frustrating to me personally since I really, really didn't like that final level. Excellent. With this component in hand, I'll be able to make my dynamo, dy dynamo even stronger. Her dynamo, she stole it. Hmm. What's this? What's this? Is it for me? Cannon jump fire cannon to jump higher than before. Can, can be upgraded for even higher jumping. Good work, man. I'll put the cannon jump to the test right away. Keep those contraptions coming. I don't think there are any more contraptions. That is it. Now I have all five com components. I can use my genie crystals to locate the genie realm. Men. Hmm. It's time to construct the new and improved dynamo. Bundle those genie crystals together and... What? What do you mean we don't have enough crystals? It was your job to remind me. This is all your fault, Sai. Like they say, if you want something done right, you've got to order someone else to do it for you. Set them up for failure, and then do it yourself. Ugh, it's so hard to be a tyrannical pirate captain these days. Now, where am I going to find the last of these genie crystals? So, yeah. We now... Let's take a look here have to go back through each level and get all the genie crystals which is an argument to also get all the dark magic and there's just no other place to go there's no new level that that unlocked or anything like that um, throughout that process I imagine we will potentially fill up our food stores or but maybe not. It'd be fairly hard to get nine tentacles, I think, or even nine tuna rolls. Um, and I don't know if there's an achievement around that. As we are going to try and upgrade more things, I probably made a mistake in upgrading the bomb shot. Um, I probably should have just upgraded the grapple hook and even the kraken ball because I imagine these... These abilities will prove themselves useful. Um, and cannon jump definitely is the next priority. So we're just going to try and do three of these in a row. Um, it does feel like you could probably play this pretty poorly and upgrade like your pistol speed and all of that. And, and then really, really struggle to get all the collectibles. We can see all the components as far as the tinker brain are, are built and we need five more crystals and yeah i don't know if there's anything else we can do or say hmm why is the resolution so low hmm dare i change it yeah that's that's weird because it should not have been at that it should have been at 1920 by 1080 all right well Let's see what we do if we mess this up terribly. There we go. And then, could we have changed the controller configuration? It kind of feels like you might have been able to change some of these, but it would have been hard to figure out what... Hmm. So yeah, that that's weird. That That's really, really weird that... We won at 1080p. Uh, to my eye, with this art style, it's really hard to tell the difference, frankly, between 1080p and anything else. Um, everything looks fairly good. And I imagine streaming on YouTube, it, everything else would look fairly good too. Uh, there, there is even a decent argument to having lower resolution uh, game settings on games where their native resolution is that resolution anyways there, there's really n often not a lot of good quality upscaling happening if you take something that has 2d 
uh, sprites or 3D models, and then there are only enough pixels there to make something at 640 by 480 or 720p resolution. Scaling that up uh, often just inter introduces um, jaggies and just a worse quality picture. Uh, but there are certainly good quality upscaling uh, algorithms out there also. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and get me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.